another quick tutorial for y'all. In this video, I'll be showing y'all the best way to make the most realistic sounding live hi-hats in FL Studio. Now, I know a lot of people like to throw like hi-hat loops into the fruity slicer, do it that way. But I'm really talking about the technique where you have total control over the hi-hats, like, and they sound crisp and clear. You know what I'm saying? Just the best way to get the most live sound and live hi-hats because it's hard to do it in digital software so let's get into it so i'm going to click on addictive drums go to ad click on vintage click on 70s rock kit those are some crispy some crispy live hi-hats inside of addictive drums and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna notice when you click a key, you get different sounds. But every time you click on them, it's like a different sample. Like if you know what I'm saying. So it sounds like really loud. I know it's being slow as shit right now because I'm clicking it. But hold on. Let me See what I'm saying? And that was with my computer keyboard, by the way. Not a MIDI keyboard. <laughs> but alright. Let me get into it right quick. go to this open hat right here and what's really gonna be key to doing it with this plugin is the velocity so the more you change the velocities up the more realistic it sounds and with these open hats you want to keep these the velocities pretty much up you know what I'm saying you don't want to go down sounds I mean you can but it sounds better like that way this way not that way. Let me turn the tempo down right quick. And what you're going to want to do you're gonna wanna highlight that. Oh shit. You're gonna wanna highlight that, control V. And you're gonna wanna change the velocities up down here again. So it's just more realistic. The more you do that, the more realistic that the hi hat will sound throughout the beat with the different velocities, like an actual drummer and shit. want to change the keys up to or change the notes up control B Change up the velocities again. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that to the mixer channel. Then I'm going to grab parametric EQ, right click right there, three bands. Then I'm going to cut the low end, 
bring out the mid a little bit, and bring out the highs. And now it sounds more crispy. Yeah, we cooking now. So, now what you want to do, hit Fruity Convolver, open that up, turn the wet knob down. Now what I'm, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it. And I'm gonna click snap, one six step. I'm gonna bring it over because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a drum break in, and I don't want the hi hat to be going too fast with the drum break because you know how drum breaks be because they're realistic like that back back in the old days and shit. They were made so they didn't have the metron on, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have the quantizing. Really, it's the quantizing. They didn't have the quantizing, the digital shit. So, yeah, without further ado, let me get back into it. <laughs> Let's see. All basis of it you know what i'm saying if you was making like a j cole type beat or like anybody that has like a lot of live sound in that beat addictive drums definitely the plug-in for the hi-hats and sometimes the drums but really drum breaks would be better for that type of shit but without further ado once again simple Addictive drums. Get the plug in. Live hi hats. Galore. So, with that being said, like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next, and I'm out.